worth 14 million, yung 35 million for supplies, na ginamit in 11 days. Hindi po katakata kayo? Um, Mr. 35 Chair. million for supplies in 11 days. Hindi po kayo nagtaka doon? Um, as long as they submitted po the uh, wala nga mangyayari sa acknowledgement atin. receipts. So long as they submit the acknowledgement receipts. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Kagaya ng 40 million for medical and food aid, ilang kayang informant ang ginamot at binigyan ng gamot in 11 days, 35 million. Hindi po kayo nagtataka? Uh, or continue my interpolation in the, la in the second hearing uh, for COA. Kasi in the last hearing, ang COA, Attorney Camora, are you? Yes. Kayo po ang sumagot nung tinanong ko uh, kung yung confidential funds uh, of the Office of the Vice President were liquidated in accordance with the protocol pro provided for by the Joint Circular. Ang, kayo po ang sumagot doon, di po ba? At sinabi po ninyo na uh, the liquidation was done in accordance with the protocol provided by the Circular. Totoo po ba yan? Attorney Camora? Um, that is true, po. That is true. Mr. Chair. Okay. And uh, uh, kayo po ba ay sumasang ayon sa akin na yung liquidation uh, is merely a documentary checklist and does not actually show that the expenses are actually reasonable or even true? Would you agree with that? Um, I would have to agree, Mr. Chair. Paki ulit po. Uh, agree po. Uh, it's documentary. Um, it's. Do you uh, agree with my statement, Madam? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. And would you agree also that the confidential funds of the Office of the Vice President are public funds? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. And would you agree that uh, COA or the Commission on Audit, your agency, is the agency or government agency which is supposed to be the guardian uh, to see to it that public funds are spent properly. Um, Would you uh, agree with that also? Yes, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Now, uh, since you have stated that uh, the Office of the Vice President uh, liquidated the uh, its confidential funds required as required under joint circular uh, would you also agree with me that uh, the accomplishment report provided by the office of the vice president uh, were 100 percent implemented um, mr chair uh, what do you mean by 100 percent implemented po Na-implement ba yung uh, pag-liquidate ng uh, uh, amount of 125 million as ah. confidential fund or of the office of the vice president? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. The entire 125 million was liquidated. And would you agree with me that uh, the documentary pieces of evidence submitted by the office of the vice president were merely acknowledgement receipts? Would you agree with me? The documentary evidence of payment, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, and could you give me uh, the specifics in so far as uh, the acknowledgement receipts submitted uh, for the uh, expenses uh, in so far as the uh, confidential fund of the OVP is concerned? Could you give us how much is for the rental of safe houses? How much would be the amount for purchase of information? 
Do we have the number of acknowledgement receipts submitted by the OVP? Uh, for, for what account, Mr. Chen? Rental of safe houses. For rental for the period fourth quarter 2022 po. Yes. It's 16 million po, Mr. Chair. Rental of safe houses. Yes, Mr. Chair. The rental is for 11 days. Uh, Would you agree with me? Yes, Mr. Chair. Since the accomplishment report uh, Pursuant to the accomplishment report, the yung amount uh, for the rental of safe houses were paid for 11 days. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Tama po. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. How about, uh, and how many acknowledgement receipts were submitted for this? Uh, Mr. Chair, for rental of safe houses, uh, we received 34 uh, acknowledgement receipts. How about for trans transportation expense? What was the amount and the, the number of acknowledgement receipts submitted for its liquidation? Um, for transportation, uh, it's 10 million and the number of recipients is 72. 72 acknowledgement receipts. Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, for the purchase of information, the same requirement? Mr. Chair? Ilan pong, ilan pong, magkano po yung sa purchase of information? For the purchase of information based on the documentary evidence of payment, it's 14 million and the number of recipients is 142, Mr. Chair. Okay, and for, there are two items for rewards, for medicine and various goods. Tama po. Uh, Mr. Chair, there are actually three. Three? It's payment of reward, payment of reward medicines, and payment of reward various goods. What would be the amount uh, allotted for each of the three? Uh, based on the documentary evidence of payment, for payment of reward, it was... 10 million 50,000. For medicines, yun? For a reward lang. For reward lang. 10 million? 50,000. Okay. Um, for the payment of reward medicines, it's 24 million 930,000. 930, and for the third? And for the payment of reward various goods, um, it's 34 million 857,000, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Pwede po bang pakita natin yung sample ng acknowledgement receipt for the payment of rental of safe houses? Nakikita nyo, Attorney Camora, yung, yung sample o yung actual acknowledgement receipts na sinabit ng OVP with the names, uh, uh, shall we say, not shown because of confidentiality. Tama po ba ito? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Is there an acknowledgement receipt uh, which acknowledges uh, the amount of 500,000 pesos for the payment of rental of safe house? Um, I will check here on Mr. Chair, may I ask the question again? Meron po bang acknowledgement receipt uh, amounting to 500,000 for the payment of rental of safe house? Uh, meron po, Mr. Chair. Uh, para sa isang safe house lang ito? 
Um, we have no information, Mr. Chair. What we know is para sa isang recipient nung yung money paid po. If I ask you the question, yung 500,000 ba yun for 11 days or for one day? Yes, Mr. Chair. Ano po ang yes? One day or 11 days? Uh, since since um, the accomplishment report says uh, December 21 to 31, uh, we think it's one e 11 days. For 11 days? Yes, Mr. Chair. For a single safe house? We have no information on how many safe houses that 500,000 was spent on, Mr. Chair. Sabi nyo kanina, uh, rental of safe houses in the amount of 16M with 34 acknowledgement receipts, is it logical for me to conclude na 34 safe houses ito? Um, Mr. Chair, it just means that 34 people were paid uh, for rental supplies, but uh, we have Hindi, no rental of safe houses. Hindi po rental uh, of supplies. Sorry, Mr. Chair. Uh, Bakit, pardon. Para bang, Iha, nung last time na kini-question kita, you were very, very confident. Eh, ngayon, parang tentative yung mga sagot nyo sa akin. May no why? Um, nung last time, very, very confident kang sumasagot sa aking mga katanungan. Eh, ngayon, very tentative ka and very, very careful ang pagsagot mo sa akin. May no the reason why? Uh, there's no reason, Mr. Chair. There's no change? Ay, hindi yes. mo ma mapapansin yun. Ako ang nakakapansin kasi ako ang nagtanong sa'yo last time. At ako pa rin ang nagtatanong sa'yo ngayon. And I noticed that change. Now, uh, yung 34 acknowledgement receipts given by 34 persons, hindi ba nangangulogan yung 34 na safe houses yun? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, there's information that one receipt uh, may pertain to one safe house. Safe house, okay. So, if I asked you, yung receipt na amounting to 500,000 for the payment of rental of safe house, would it be logical for me to conclude that this is for one safe house for 11 days? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Para sa 11 days, yung 500,000 para sa isang safe, isang safe house. Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, if I ask you, how much would that be per day para sa isang safe house? Uh, Mr. Chair, it would amount to 45,000 something. 45,454.55 per day. 45. Thousand. Yes, Mr. Chair. Per day. Uh, ano po kaya ang klaseng safe house ito na 45,000 per day ang rental? Samantalang yung mga ibang magagandang lugar, eh, mas mura pa kaysa rito sa 45,000. Could you give us an idea of that? Um, Mr. Chair, we do not have information on the safe houses. Hmm. I don't, what do you say? You do not have any information about the safe houses. Um, since you were asking for. Hindi nyo alam kung uh, high class na safe house. No information, Mr. Chair. You Chen. do not. Eh, kasi nakapagtataka lang po na ang safe house uh, per day would be rented with forty-five thousand. Uh, for one safe house. Di po ba? Um, Hindi kayo nagtataka? Um, yes, Mr. Chair, but uh, since they have submitted the liquidation reports po. So, uh, as long as an agency would submit 
yung mga receipts or acknowledgement receipts in their liquidation uh, uh, of the amount, wala na po kayong, you do not have the, uh, shall we say, the wherewithal or the jurisdiction to find out whether the expenditures are reasonable or true? Are you trying to tell us that? Um, it's more on the submission of the... It's more on compliance yes, with Mr. the requirement. Chair. Yun lang. Yes, Mr. Chair. And you are supposed to be the guardian of the use of public funds. Uh, Mr. Chair, one of the... One of the... Um, documents is their certification so um, so you that is enough uh, yes mr chair and you you are not you do not determine whether it's reasonable or true um since it is compliance uh, we often do not okay uh, yung pong pag-comply ng Office of the Vice President, uh, as you have stated a while ago, eh, in accordance doon sa Joint Circular, uh, yung the amount of 125 million. So, ang ibig nyo pong sabihin, uh, nag-submit yung Office of the Vice President ng liquidation report, physical and financial plan, documentary evidence uh, or uh, of payment, at saka accomplishment report, okay na po sa inyo yun? Um, we, still, um, we still reviewed the documents reported, Mr. Chair. Uh, and what is your objective when you review the documents? Um, whether... Ano po ang tinitignan nyo sa dokumento? Whether compliant po siya, Mr. Chair, sa requirements under Kaya nga, the Joint uh, Circular. Tinignan nyo lang kung yung documents uh, would comply with the Joint Circular. Yes, Mr. Chair. And you do not determine whether kasi nungalingan na, totoo o hindi, yung, yung nakalagay doon po sa documents. Are you trying to tell this committee that? Uh, Mr. Chair, um, we we have issued an ND on the... Hindi. Sagutin niyo muna po yung aking katanungan. Para bang ang sinasabi niyo dito sa amin, dito sa committee na ito, na nag-iimbestiga, na basta't na kompleto po yung mga dokumento required by the joint circular, uh, okay na sa inyo. Pero sinabi niyo na nire-review niyo yung documents. Ano po yung hinahanap niyo dun sa dokumento? na it, also, it is also in accordance with form and substance? Ganun po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, since and, uh, prescribed din po sa joint circular ang yes. forms. And you and, do not determine whether <clears throat> kasi nung alingan, may katotohanan? Yung uh, nakalagay po doon? We check the certification as long as the certification is there. Mr. Hindi Chair. naman po nyo sinasagot sa katanungan ko eh. Doon sa pagre-review ninyo, hindi kasali na i-review ninyo kung pwedeng totoo yung nilalagay doon o hindi. Uh, uh, Mr. Chair, yung ano lang po, uh, submission lang po talaga. Kaya nga, form and substance lang. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. Whether it's unreasonable, <laughs> out of this world, you do not care. Um, unless it's really, really for fetch but mr chair it's more on submission po talaga ng documents required yeah sige uh, yung i would just like to state na in the last hearing uh, you confirmed that the liquidation report all the all the documents supposed to be submitted in accordance with the joint circular uh, in the amount of for the amount of 125 million uh, nakalagay doon yung 14 million for the purchase of information pero walang detalye uh, ano yung mga information na yon or it does not even show how important those informations were 
uh, worth 14 million, yung 35 million for supplies, na ginamit in 11 days. Hindi po katakata kayo? Um, Mr. 35 Chen. million for supplies in 11 days. Hindi po kayo nagtaka doon? Um, as long as they submitted po the Ay, wala nga mangyayari sa acknowledgement atin. receipts. So long as they submit the acknowledgement receipts. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yeah, okay. uh, further, Mr. Chair, yung accomplishment report, it does not require uh, further details po. And it is the only form under the joint circular. Okay. Ah, hindi ko na po tinatong. Kasi uh, kung ganito po yung inyong patakaran, eh wala nga po kayong mababantayan. Um, Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, kaya po meron po silang certification yung uh, head of agency. Pero may certification na but you do not even determine whether the contents of the certification are reasonable or not. Whether they are true or not, you do not determine that. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair, given yes. the nature of the fund po. Yeah. Kagay ng 40 million for medical and food aid, ilang kayang informant ang ginamot ang binigyan ng gamot in 11 days? 35 million. Hindi po kayo nagtataka? For supplies po, um... Yes. Hindi po ba? Ang uh, report nyo kanina for... There were recipients. Uh, medical and food aid, 40 million. Hindi po ba? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. And for 11 days to be spent for medicine, medical aid, hindi kayo nagtataka? Paano na-spend yun in 11 days? Five of which are holidays. Uh, Mr. Chair, given the nature of the fund, that it's confidential. Uh, no, no, po kayo bumabalik dun sa nature of the fund palagi. Eh. Uh, uh, Yana na papansin ko na uh, oh, dun kayo na cover. Pero definitely, your job is to see to it that public funds are spent mm -hmm. properly. I ask you that. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Now, may I ask you personally? Are you safeguarding the expenditure of public funds in so far as your job is concerned? Mm, I would like to think so, sir, yes. You would like to think so. Okay. Wala nga tayong kuhan mangyayari. In other words, uh, we can, or the COA relies only on the uh, documentary evidence of payment, mainly. Tama po. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yun lang ang pasyaan ninyo. Yes, Mr. Chair. And yung Chair. documentary evidence of payment, whether it is a lie, a truth, reasonable or unreasonable, you do not care. We, that is what you're trying to tell us. It, it is since it's just compliance, sir. Okay, we, uh, eh, in other words, para pang ang sinasabi niyo sa akin, I do not know how uh, my other colleagues would uh, take that, pero parang ministerial na lang yung trabaho nyo pala. Uh, if we read through the yes. joint circular. That is science. what you're trying to tell me. Okay? Ministerial lang pala yung trabaho ninyo. Masarap na trabaho yan. Oh. Di po ba? Mm. Uh, yung Uh, pagtignan natin ang liquidation report, ang nakala nakalagay lang dito ay uh, ginastos ng Office of the Vice President the amount of 125 million from December 21 to 31, 2022 or 11 days. And this was certified by the Vice President by the Special Dispersing Officer, Madam Gina Acosta and uh, the Chief Accountant Madam Julieta Villa del Rey, would that be correct? 
Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, now, kung babase naman po tayo dun sa accomplishment report, ang makikita lang natin dito ay gumastos ang Office of the Vice President ng 125 million from December 21 to 31, 2022 for surveillance and monitoring activities in 132 areas. Dito rin, wala tayo magawa. Kagaya ng sagot po niyo sa akin, we have no choice but to check the, uh, the, the documentary evidence of payments submitted by the office para malaman kung saan or paano ginastos ng OBP yung 125 million. Yun po yung pinararating nyo po sa amin. Yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, So, yung, yung titignan po natin talaga is, eh, kwan eh, uh, uh, yung pinakita natin acknowledgement receipt, ganyan lang talaga ang format. Uh, um, that is nakalagay lang ang amount, pangalan at signature ng tumanggap, at date kung kailan niya ito natanggap. That is it. Yes, Mr. Chair. Yun yung sinabmit po nila sa amin. And COA does not try to determine kung sino man yung taong yun, uh, existing ba siya o hindi. You do uh, not. No, Mr. Chair. No, no, thank you. Para lang for my information. Uh, so you do not have any means or you do not exert any means para ma-determine kung totoo yung mga nakalagay sa acknowledgement receipt. You just take it hook, line, and sinker na totoo po yun. Um, Mr. Chair, probably we could, but given the limited manpower po of the ICFO. Ni walang ID yung tao na sinasubmit? Uh, no, Mr. Chair. No, wala. Talagang sikretong sikreto. Um, what, what was submitted to us, that is what you audit, Mr. Chair. Okay. Uh, Pwede ko rin ba i-conclude na walang paraan ang COA uh, para malaman kung gagawa-gawa lang acknowledgement receipts na ito? Um, if we base it on the joint circular, De, eh, it is no... sagot niyo po yung aking katanungan. Uh, hindi ko po tinatanong yung tungkol sa joint circular or whatever. Ang katanungan ko po ay eh, wala pong paraan na magagawa ang COA para malaman kung gawa-gawa lang ang mga acknowledgement receipts na sinamit. Would my statement be correct? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. I beg your pardon? Um, tama? Tama po. Okay. Sa madaling salita, uh, kahit na sabihin natin hindi naman talaga natanggap ng isang tao yung amount of 500,000 for the payment of the safe houses, kagaya na nakalagay kanina, hindi, to, hindi talaga sinusuri ng kuwa, kuwa ito. Uh, Talagang hindi kasama sa inyong job description na suriin ito. So In it, spite of the fact na sinabi nyo kanina, na nire-review nyo naman yung mga dokumentong ito. Tama? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Actually, iha, hindi ito ang aking pinagkakabahala eh. Kung tutuusin natin, at least, uh, kung nakalagay dyan, Juan de la Cruz ang full name, pero may nakikita akong acknowledgement receipt sa mga sinamit po ninyo na initials lang ang nakalagay. Instead na, for example, Juan de la Cruz, J. Cruz lang ang nakalagay na tumanggap ng amount of 500,000 for the payment of safe houses mula sa office of the vice president. Kung ganitong proof lang ang papasa na sa COA, wala na talaga uh, kayong paraan para matanong yung taong tumanggap ng pera. Di po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Um, it is really yung pagsa intel and confi fund po 
uh, there's no verification. Also, yeah. um, even if we have we have means right now, um, yung manpower po ng ICFAO cannot handle if alone itong si OVP, we cannot uh, verify all those people and we audit all confidential and intelligence funds for the whole country. So, hindi po kaya for now, Mr. Chair. And, uh, uh, you did not find it, shall we say, unusual for an amount or uh, the amount of 125 million ay magamit po sa 11 days? Um, well, personally, uh, malaki nga po siya. But Hindi. Uh, personally, sinabi mo. Yes po. Personally, you find it unusual? Uh, it could be na medyo malaki nga po yung amount. And hindi mo wala kang ginawa? Um, you, since they you found it unusual and yet wala kang ginawa? Since they've uh, submitted all the requirements under the joint circular. Um, Tama na. Okay na po, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair.